Anxiety is a natural reaction to being overwhelmed, but as a lifestyle, it's very harmful. Our anxiety becomes fear. We begin to live as slaves to fear instead of children of the King, and we're unavailable to obey the Spirit because we're petrified by that fear. That is why in Philippians 4, Paul says more than just don't be anxious. He gives us practical steps to overcome our situation. Verse 6 says this, be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. That word supplication is a big unfamiliar word to us, so we pass over it not realizing its power. It means to make a petition, but in the Byzantine Greek used here, it infers a written list. In one of the darkest times of my life, I had so much anxiety and stress that it began to affect my health. I even developed shingles and dermatitis. The doctors told me that whatever was going on in my life, I needed to find a way to handle stress better. So just as this passage says, I started writing things down and through this process, all of a sudden, these emotions that were intangible feelings now became physical evidence that I could hold and read. I was able to identify unhealthy people and patterns in my life. I was able to discover things that triggered these anxieties. Then as I was able to take these things to God, He not only answered these prayers, but He delivered me in every single way. So if you're feeling anxious, I encourage you to write it all down. Make a list, make it tangible, take that to God. Then close your prayer with something that you're thankful for. It can be silly things like that first or fifth cup of coffee in the morning. The important thing is that you remember, even in, during hard times, God provides good things in your life. If we do this, there's a promise we find in verse 7. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus.